What's up, YouTube? Capital G. Going to talk to you guys about the uh, 10 announcement that we just got, the 2013 Zeal Collection 10. It's going to be coming out March 8th, 2013, which means new format. Now, 2013 might sound like a long ways away, but actually, you know, we're less than a month away from 2013. So this is going to be really cool. Uh, the promo cards are both exceed. They're absolutely ridiculously good cards. And this is going to kind of be like a kickstart 10 where you're going to get a lot of the earlier booster packs. So you're going to get Generation 4, Photon Shockwave, Order of Chaos, Galactic Overlord, and then a new booster that's going to be coming out in May called Lord of the Tekyon Galaxy. So let's talk about the cards. The first card we're going to talk about is number 61, Valkasaurus. Uh, I don't use the term broken a lot, and I don't take that lightly, but this card is absolutely broken in almost every single aspect. Uh, it would not surprise me if this, along with maybe Digusto Emerald, end up getting banned within a year. This card is just, it's ridiculously overpowered. It's a rank 5 XC monster, dinosaur fire, 2500 attack, 1000 defense, requires 2 level 5 monsters to make. It's generic. Once per turn, you can detach 1 XC material monster. From this card to target one face up monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack. This card cannot attack your opponent directly the turn you activate this effect. So basically yet again another monster with a built in ring of destruction. The difference is this one is easy as shit to make. And it's generic and you got to think about this. What drawbacks does this card have? Like, basically none. You add to the fact that, okay, the only drawback that it's supposed to have is the fact that it can't declare a direct attack. But, you know, that's completely mitigated by the fact that they made another stupidly retarded broken monster called Gaia Dragon Thunder Charger. Where you can just summon this guy, blow up your opponent's BLS, and then, oops, I'm not supposed to be able to attack directly. Okay, I'll just make Gaia Charger and attack directly. Okay, have fun losing. Have fun when people, like, you know, blow up your 2500 monster and then overlay for Gaia and attack for, like, another 26. Like, this card is going to create so many fucking stupid random OTKs. Like, I'm not saying it's going to be Dark Strike Fighter, but, you know, a deck like Windups that can make rank 5 exceeds, like, nothing. I mean, this card is ultimately going to end up getting banned, in my personal opinion. The second card we're talking about is Radiant Photon Parados. This card is really good. It's really balanced. And one of the things I like about this card is it's one of the only XC monsters that actually pays you back for summoning it. It's a, a Warrior XC effect monster, rank 4, 2,000 attack, 1,000 defense. It requires two light level 4 monsters to make. And the effect reads as follows. Once per turn, you can detach two XC materials from this card to target one face-up monster your opponent controls. That attacks... That target's attack becomes zero and negate its effects when this card on the field is destroyed by your opponent's card, either battle or card effect, and sent to the graveyard, draw one card. So, you know, you have to think of the fact that, yeah, you go neg one when you summon this guy, but when it dies via, like, mirror force or it gets run over or something, you end up drawing. So, it kind of uh, replaces that neg one that you took to summon it. But, in addition, it can obviously get over monsters that are bigger than it, even monsters that offer protection, because not only does it negate effects, but it also, you know, reduces those monsters to zero. So, let's say your opponent has, like, you know, an asset golem or something like that, you can just run it over. But if your opponent has something like a Utopia that should be able to block an attack, okay, you can just run it over too. Something like a Zen Mains or a Maestroke or something like that, well, they don't get their effects. You can run those suckers over too. And then, again, ultimately when this card dies, even if battle, you know, then you'll just end up drawing a card. So this card is really, really balanced, and I, I like it a lot. Like, you know, uh, the first deck I thought of was something like Kiros because they run Thunder King and Neos Alias. And then sometimes they can run Photon Thrasher and Crusader. So, you know, I think that this card is really good too. So tell me what you guys think of all of this, and thank you for watching as always.